Dr. Pooja Jai Singh, Adobe e-learning evangelist, and I'm super thrilled to share yet another sneak peek with you into the next version of Adobe e-learning suite. If you've missed out on previous sneak peeks that my colleagues Alan and Vish had shared, please check out the Captivate blog page and you'll be thrilled to see the new features we are going to introduce in Adobe e-learning suite and Adobe Presenter. Today, I'm going to share a very interesting thing that we've added in Adobe Presenter 8. Take a look. Here, you can now add interactions. You can add characters uh, to your screens. You can add scenes. And there are a lot of templates that you can add. Let's, let's take a look. So for interactions, you can easily insert interactions. And there are a host of interactions available, uh, ranging from accordions to a glossary to a pyramid stack uh, to timeline and much more. Do check it out when you even we have the version out in the market. You can apply different themes based on uh, the color scheme that you have chosen for your course. You can choose from them if uh, not, uh, none of these match or maybe you like any of the themes, you can just go and customize your themes by changing the uh, button colors and text and uh, content and header. So that will uh, uh, allow you to customize your themes as per your requirement. It's pretty easy to populate uh, these uh, uh, interactions all you have to uh, do is uh, double click uh, the text and start writing so maybe I'm talking about smart learning objectives and here I want the buttons to say uh, the objective should be specific measurable and so on. So here I can easily uh, delete or add buttons. So if you, if you uh, want to delete this particular button, just double click it. And then there is this button to delete this particular um, accordion. And if you want to go and add, just go and click the add button. It adds a new accordion. So I need five accordions here. So I'll add it this way. And uh, for the description, again, I just have to double click and start typing the text I want to appear. I can also add audio images and I can decide the placement of these images. Images. It's all canned. You do not have to do any programming. Once you're done with all these edits, just click OK and uh, that particular interaction will appear on the screen. And uh, once you preview the project, it will, it will allow you to interact with this interaction. You can also add uh, ready characters to uh, make your story more interactive and interesting by adding coach and uh, maybe actors for your scenarios that you've add, you're have you adding. So here you can um, add a character by simply selecting and clicking OK. Uh, you can also uh, resize it to fit to your screen size, uh, but by default it uh, covers the entire uh, screen area. And these are transparent images, so you can use it with any background that you choose to. So let's add uh, some background out here, which uh, comes as a part of scene. You, you can see a host of uh, images added here uh, for medical inside office and outside office. So you can choose any of these images to suit uh, your course and uh, set it as the background for the image. So uh, by default, it covers the entire screen. You can even resize it if you want to. So I'll just keep it that way. And then you can uh, add characters on top of it. And these characters come in various categories like business, casual, illustrated, and medicine. You can choose any one of these and, uh, you know, uh, make your uh, e-learning courses better to work with. Along with these, there is an interesting thing that's added in Adobe Presenter 8, and that's uh, that's uh, the templates, uh, template layouts that are available out of the box. So here you will find a lot of templates that you can use. All you have to do is select one of them. So maybe I want this one uh, to go in my uh, project. I'll just simply copy it, go to my presentation and paste this slide here. What it will do is it will take the color scheme of your uh, of the theme that you've selected for your uh, for your course uh, and it will add this particular template with the same color scheme. There's a lot of interesting stuff coming your way. So keep waiting and watching. Thanks for watching the sneak peek.